When it comes to shifting gears in Gran Turismo 7, you have the option to choose between two types of transmission. That's manual and automatic. Manual transmission gives you more control over the car and allows you to optimize performance and speed up shifting gears at the right time. In the manual transmission, you are responsible for shifting gears. On the other hand, an automatic transmission allows the game's AI to shift gears for you. The car will automatically shift at the appropriate gear depending on the speed and the situation. Manual transmission allows for more control and the ability to optimize performance, but it can be quite difficult for beginners to master. Automatic transmission is more forgiving and allows you to focus more on the driving, but it might not provide the same level of control and performance as the manual transmission does. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide which transmission do you prefer. If you're new to the game, I would recommend starting with automatic transmission, and once you get used to the game's mechanics, you can move to manual transmission to maximize your performance. Also, don't be afraid to experiment and try out different transmission types and see which one you prefer when you start the game. But but in the end, manual is what you're aiming for. The RPM, or revolutions per minute, is a measure of the car's engine speed and it plays a crucial role in determining the optimal time to shift gears in Gran Turismo 7. Understanding how to read the RPM on the dashboard can help you shift gears more efficiently and improve your performance on the track. I just have to mention that now we are talking about manual transmission and shifting gears in a manual way. So the RPM is located on the dashboard and can display a range of values. Usually it's from 0 to 8000 but it also depends on the car. And the optimal time to shift gears is when the RPM is in so-called power band of the engine, which is typically between 4000 and 8000 RPM. This is the range where the engine produces the most power and it's able to perform at its best. I made a specific video about it and you can find it in the top right corner of this one and as well as in the description of this video. When accelerating, it's important to shift up to a higher gear once the RPM reaches the power band. And when approaching a turn, it's important to shift down to a lower gear to slow down and then shift up after exiting the turn to accelerate. I will cover this in more detail in the later part of this video and you will see that it's gonna play a crucial role in how you master gear shifting. And in this example, it's quite visible that I will always upshift at the power band. Before you start racing, run the car in the straight line on the test track to see which is the perfect upshift point. And also the perfect upshift point, it's never gonna be the same for each gear, so you just have to test it out. Usually it's kind of the same, but it can be slightly different. It's also useful to have a look at the car settings to find out when is the car reaching its maximum power. As you become more familiar with Gran Turismo 7, you'll start to notice that different situations on the track call for different gear shifting techniques. Here are a few examples of a specific situations in which you should shift gears, and some tips on how to do it efficiently. Approaching and braking. So when approaching a turn, it's important to shift down to a lower gear to slow down and that is called engine braking. To do it more efficiently, it's always important to downshift in the same time intervals. And this will help you to maintain better control of the car and make the turn run smoother. If you're not doing that, the car might feel unstable and unpredictable. To get even more speed in a specific turn, I like to leave the last downshift when I get closer to the apex to get more rotation of the back end, which will make the car slide a bit more, making it unstable but faster if done in the right way. Accelerating out of the turn, and after exiting the turn, you want to upshift into a higher gear to accelerate. This will help you to get back up to speed quickly and smoothly. Keep in mind that sometimes you will need to do an upshift into a higher gear before the apex of the turn, just so you can maintain a smoother line and get more speed out of the turn. This will kind of prevent the wheel spin of the tires and will save you an additional upshift. You can also keep in mind that you will need to upshift in a gear before the acceleration starts. This will help the car to skip a gear and you will eventually save some time. Note that if you do it three or four times a lap and every upshift potentially saves you about 50 milliseconds, at the end of the lap that difference can be up to two tenths. Having that said, you can run more smoothly, more efficiently, save fuel and tires and eventually be faster, especially in longer races. 
On long straights, you will want to shift up to a higher gear to reach the maximum speed, which is quite obvious, but if the car can't reach its full potential in that higher gear, it might be better to rev up the car more than usual to avoid upshifting and maximizing performance. This approach depends on the car and the track layout, so to be completely sure what is the right gear, you really have to test out the car at a specific section and compare the result. Keep in mind that the above situations and tips are general guidelines and you should always pay attention to the RPM and the car's behavior just to determine what is the best time to shift gears. It might take some time to master but eventually it will make you faster. As usual I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did consider hitting up that subscribe button to keep up with my future videos. Once again guys thank you very much for watching and see you next time.